Six years ago this weekend, Jake Oldroyd's field goal makes you a winner in your BYU debut on somewhat of a neutral field in Arizona against Arizona. Tonight, you get the Wildcats again on another somewhat neutral field in Las Vegas. In what ways are you a better coach tonight than you were in 2016? Oh, time and experience. I, I think that's, um, that's probably how I'm better in a lot of different things, whether it's being a husband or a coach or a father. You know, I think uh, some time experience has helped me out and uh, some lessons that I've learned along the way. Jaron Hall is going to start for your quarterback tonight. What are your expectations for him? Yeah, I want him to just have fun, let loose. And, and um, you know, he's got high expectations for himself. Um, I think Zach has done a great job raising the standard in, in the quarterback room. And A-Rod's done a great job of coaching his guys. And I, feel have, I just feel like I have a lot of confidence in that whole entire room and a lot of confidence in Jaron going into this game. What do you say to him to loosen him up? You know he's tight. You were tight going out to your first yeah, start. I mean, I think I think what I can do is just get the whole team to try to loosen up a little bit and have fun. I, I seem to, I know that seems to be something that I'm I can I can do a little bit. Is that where the dancing comes into play? Yeah, I mean that's I mean I, I'm I'm not a great dancer, but I, I like just just whatever I can do to help the guys loosen up a little bit. I'm going to try and and if that means making a fool of myself, then that's okay because I, I just want I like seeing the guys smile. Um, I just feel like that emotion goes a lot longer way than. And the fear or, or anger or, uh, you know, just I just want to try to get the anxiety and loosen up the to control it as much as we can. What do you hope Jaron learned from watching Zach all last season? Oh, I know he's picked up a lot. I, I, that on, entire room last year, uh, those guys are all here. So Baylor, Jacob, Jaron, those guys have picked up a lot. And, and I think they're, that uh, it, it shows in the way that they performed this fall camp. Um, I just want them to just go and have fun and just remember that they're Part of the team, they don't have to do it all by themselves. They can rely on other weapons that are around them and, and the teammates and even the other phases of the game to help them win. He has two previous starts, 2019, both ended with concussions. Are you are you worried about that trend? No, I think there's a long time that went in between that. And I just think a lot of growth has happened. He's seems to have a great command of, of you know the offense, but more importantly, he just knows the game a little bit more. So I, I think he we have to trust him to help protect himself and. Um, you know, I, I think he's going to be just fine. We'll, we'll let the see. I mean, you got to get out and play the game, but it's not like we practice taking shots on him. Right. I, I think uh, time has held him, allowed him to heal, and it's allowed him to grow and learn. If there's a third, is that it? Is that it for him? I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure on, on on how it all works. I'm not a. I'm not in the medical field, but yeah. I'd like to give a guy as many chances as he as they can get. Tyler Algier came to BYU as a walk-on, played linebacker, little running back in 2019. He told me he was about to leave school after the bowl game that year because he'd run out of money. But over the holiday, you gave him a scholarship, changed his life. He gave you over 1,100 yards last year as you mm -hmm. switched him to full-time running back. He appears to be preparing for this season as a man on a mission. Yeah, he's been doing that since he first got here. So I. I think uh, it, it took a while to get get that to him. It took a while to get him in a position where he would feel the most comfortable. And running back was the position, you know. So uh, I think we we did the right thing as a coaching staff and get him a scholarship as, as soon as we could. Um, and but the hard work has been there from the very beginning. And I appreciate his sacrifice and his trust in us as coaches in, the, in this program. He said there's a little chip on his shoulder because of the the yards that he got and the 13 touchdowns against the schedule that so many have have called into question last year despite going 11 and 1 and there feels like there's kind of that feeling with the players to, to go out and prove last year with this year how do you work through that no, I think that's fine I think it's okay that they can they feel like they have to prove something that's that's uh, obviously there's a lot of talk going around and we lost a bunch of great players you know so this is an opportunity for these guys to step up and the returning players like Tyler and others like Lopini that that uh, you know are hearing the, the the narrative out there about it, and so this is their time to to make it count on the field. We'll we'll see what happens. Linebacker Peyton Wilgar is at the heart of your defense. Might be the best football player on the roster. What kind of leadership are you looking from him tonight in a game where there is so much emotion, enthusiasm, and celebration? Yeah, I think he just has to be himself. I don't think there's any, anything special that he needs to do other than be himself and play. His, you know, I sometimes. Guys get named captains, and they feel like they have to step out of, out of their own personality. I think he just be himself, uh, lead the team, and in his example, because he he's one guy that, that you can always point to 
that works hard and is always focused. And so as long as he keeps doing that, that's why the team voted him captain, because they, they trust him and they see how hard he works, and that's all he needs to do. Both he and Algier are walk-ons to your program. Mm -hmm. And tonight, they are the leaders of your program. What does that say about those two kids and your walk-on program? Well, it just says that, that uh, everybody has a chance here, you know, and through hard work and dedication. Um, you know, we have a coaching staff that's going to play the best guys. And so we have a program that we feel like it can develop players. Um, and, and development means it doesn't have to mean a long period of time. It can mean one year to the next. You saw the improvement that Zach Wilson made in one year. So who knows when you have a team full of 123 guys, how much improvement they can make from one year to the next. We'll find out. We'll find out in this game. I asked your family for some help on these final questions. <laughs> this one's from KK, your 11-year-old. Okay. He asks, I get nervous before I play sports sometimes. Do you ever get nervous before coaching your games? All the time, yeah. I, 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 I kind of embrace it, just love it. I, I love the, the feeling. It, I miss playing. Uh, there's nothing like playing the game. And so I think the next best thing is coaching. But I still get nervous because I don't get to go out there and play. So I, I think it means it's a lot harder. It reminds me of what it's like to be a fan. Um, but uh, man, I just I like that feeling. I like that feeling of just knowing how hard these guys work and, and um, just seeing that I just hope and pray that I did my best to get them in a position to perform at their best. Here's one from Sadie. She's 14. <laughs> Do you feel like the team has done a good job replacing the players that left for the NFL last year. Yes, I do, yeah. And, and, and um, we have no choice, right? <laughs> uh, those guys aren't coming back, and I'm wishing them the best in, in, in the NFL. But yeah, I, I really feel comfortable with the guys that we have on our team. It's, it's their time to shine now, and um, 2021 is going to be their, their, their moment. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them take the field and having a lot of fun in, in their new roles. All right, here's one from Sky, and this has everything to do with being 17. Is your favorite child the one who's coming down to Las Vegas to cheer you on in person against Arizona? <laughs> I, I love all three of my children equally. And so, yeah, that they... Uh, she's not getting any points for being here. No, tonight. she's the oldest. But uh, I, th I think there's going to be a couple of them that are coming down to the game. So I, uh, I, I, I enjoy being a father. Yeah. And uh, just, just happy that I get to share this moment with them at BYU. All right, finally from your wife, Timberly. Uh, what do you want for your celebration meal when you come home victorious from Vegas? She already knows anything that's edible and probably not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and a whole lot of it? Yeah, and a whole lot of it, yeah. But I, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really lucky to be here and, and uh, have that wonderful family and to be in this position. So I'm going to just go out there and have a lot of fun. We'll, as we we'll see look, what happens. As we look at this picture of your family, um, what does this group mean to you? Yeah, everything. And so this is, uh, yeah, you know how to get me emotional, but this, this, is, this is what it's all about. And if you asked me when I was a 10-year-old kid cheering for BYU, not knowing what life was going to be about, I, I couldn't have wrote a better script than what it is right now. So uh, I'm grateful that I had uh, the opportunity to be mentored by Lavelle Edwards. And I'm trying to do a lot of the same things that he did when he was the head coach for me and allowed me an environment to thrive and to grow. And hopefully I can do the same thing for these players. You have a unique relationship with Cougar Nation, especially with, with the students. How much did you miss them last year? And what emotion will you feel here in just a little bit when you take the field and you not only hear them, but you see them welcome you back? Oh, it's, it's going to be emotional. I, I'm going to get really excited, but... Uh, Last year, just that was really rough, you know, not not having everyone. Even though we were able to play a game, I was really thankful for the opportunity to play the game. But um, the game is meant to, sh to be shared with everyone, and that that means the the fans that are there and the fans that are watching. And just felt like there there wasn't a great enough connection. And so I'm looking forward to seeing the fans that are going to be present and and uh, trying to entertain all the fans that are watching all around the world. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. I hope I hope the the fans will be proud of the play the players perform on the field and and uh, but uh, as a head coach I'm gonna try to do my best because I am a fan before I was a coach and before I was a player here at BYU I was I was a fan first and so I'm gonna try my best to represent the fans well good luck thank you go Cougs